Hello, Collective. Hope y'all doing well. Um, I wanted to put out a reading, and someone told me to come in here and do a reading, so I'm doing a ring and ding. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pam. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you to my loyal support. I love y'all. I love each and every one of y'all for your support, and I thank you, and I hope I can help y'all some more. So let's get into it. We got the Wheel of Fortune upside down. Uh, this is a, this is bad luck, a broken sequence, failure. So, somebody is receiving some bad luck, and the hanged man, um, these people that enforced sacrifice, they sacrificed you, and now they're receiving punishment and loss and suffering. Okay. And um, they, this person had a desire for power. They was very enthusiastic with their revenge. This little princess had won, so uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, they, um, and then King of Wands come out. This is some swift, this is a swift, strong, rather violent person, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um... And then we got out the universe upside down. Um, they, this person, they failed to complete their task. Um, they, this is about their imperfections is shining out. Okay. So, um, so uh, whoever this person was that had a desire for power over your life, they failed miserably. They're receiving bad luck. That's their karma. Uh, their karma's coming back for them enforcing this sacrifice upon you. Uh, now, um, they're wanting, they're mad because you're not around anymore and you're and they, they can't complete all these tasks. This is somebody that you worked with. So they're mad and they want to be rather violent and be revengeful. And I said job because this come out. It says when your job stresses you out, then I'd advise you to go out on your own and do the things that you love to do and make your own business. That's what they're mad for. Because this is, I know why this is mad, okay? I don't know what it is for you all, but somebody's mad that you're not at that job anymore. All they wanted to do is just bring more hurdles for you to jump. They just wanted you to jump some more hurdles and... And uh, somebody's wanting to come crawling on their knees to you. They want you to forgive them for all their shady ass dealings. See, so these people at work, uh, they they if you are making your own job, they've heard in the community about it, and now they're wanting to come back and profess their sorries to you because you're doing something that you love to do. Uh. -uh. And gaslighting and love bombing used to work somewhat with these idiots, but it sure ain't working out so good for them now. See? See, uh, they wanted to keep you jumping over more and more hurdles and you doing all the work. And I think you were smart and you moved away. Sorry, my feet looks a little fat on this side and a little... <laughs> Sorry. Uh... But they're, this person is wanting to make a bold and feist move towards you, but they're trying to plan it out well so they don't fail with you. I think they already failed. Their shady ass dealings already failed, and you said no. You moved away because you, you know that these people were spying on you and lying on you. They told all your business, and, and they didn't mean to intentionally, but they still fucking did it. That's why Seven of Swords come out. Um, they're all about lying and trickery and, and then won't even tell you, uh, but you heard them doing this and, uh, they're, they're wanting to, this says, I tried to send you something sexy, but the mailman told me to get out of the mailbox. I think, um, somehow or another, somebody's twin come through, <laughs> somebody's twin come through right here in the middle. See right here in the middle. This is the only place they come out, and this person appreciates your being there and showing up for them like a loving warrior. They think of you a bunch every day, and they're pulling on your energy through telepathy. So this person that you had telepathic communication with wants to 
tell you um, that they're sorry they had shady ass dealings with this group of people. That's what it is. And uh, you had to stand up to these bullies and show them that they can't knock you off your life path. No, they can't. Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords come out, I noticed. So these bullies was just trying to knock you off your path, and now they see your true color shining through. Now they see this, and now they're like, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? And these people was bullies that you worked with at a kitchen. That's why cooking come out. All it is, gossip and slander, that's all these people know how to do. And what it is, why they're wanting to uh, come back around you, which is fake. You, you, you know it's all fake love from these people because they're narcissists, gaslighting love bone. The law is uh, going to take this whole group of people who was against you. They're, they're taking them down. <laughs> and you're saying if people don't like you for, for your beliefs, well, F them. It's their loss. Because you started moving beyond all these old ancestral patterns and and sometimes you think you'll know a person until that same person makes you question if you can trust anyone. So these ancestors that was, uh, I mean, these, you're moving beyond all these old ancestral patterns with these narcissists and your spirit guides love you and they thank you that you moved away from all these, um, it might have been older people talking shit on your name at work and shit and your ancestors is proud that you're showing up as an elder and they're thankful of you that you don't just trust anyone anymore with shit. That's what it is. So they're they're thankful of you that you just don't trust ever Tom, Dick, and Harry anymore. And uh, whoever it is, they just had a desire for power over your life. And, uh, well, you got wise to it and, and you left. And, and, and I don't blame you. I would have too because all they did is tell every fucking thing that you did. 717 I just saw. And um, so good for you. Good for you, who are this story's one. Good for you. Let me get a few of these out. So what else did you want to tell us? With these people. Hang on, that was too much. What else do you want to tell us about? You're mowing the lawn with this, with these people. You've got psychic powers. You, you, you had psychic powers long ago that told you you was going to mow the lawn with all their asses. I look, well, what spirit and children is in your destiny out here, people. I know they are in mine. My kids was raised. I already had children. <laughs> uh, what else? So we're somewhere you're supposed to have a little baby or two or four. I don't know, but you're supposed to have some, Stuart said. Oh, and, and somebody, he's a smooth operator being laid to rest. Whoever a smooth operator is around, they're getting ready to be laid to rest. I, I don't know why, but that's what come out now. That's what come out. You're and a person with more psychic powers. You you got you're pushing for more answers always. You you like doing things like I do, like here. You're mowing the lawn with these people, and they took you for granted. They took you for granted. They they just that they, they they thought you'd. Stand around and you're a star, baby. Look, children is in your destiny. You're a star, baby. Oh, what the hell? Did you hear that? Oh, your little children's going to be star babies, too. How about smooth operator? Uh, try to take you out. This smooth operator tried to take you out. And somebody that got laid to is getting laid to rest she's waiting on him to come to her i don't get that let me get another what under laid to rest going north for a vacay whenever this person passes i guess you're 
moving north. Whatever that means. Hang on, let me get some more coffee. What else, Spirit? These are my new ones I just did over the weekend. You've got psychic powers. You're pushing for more answers with this person whose personality is strange. They got a strange uh, personality. The answer, these people that took you for granted, the answer is already within you with these people. You know it's true, whatever it is. And uh, children is in your destiny. You're a star, baby. Move in with me, Divine Feminine. Ooh, Divine Mask going to pull it out again right here. Remember, he pulled out earlier one to come in your mailbox. <laughs> he went and mail himself naked to you. That's what it meant. Uh, and this smooth operator that tried to take you out, they, they're they feeling like something needs to be balanced. Well, no. We, why would we want to be balanced with somebody that tried to take us out and kill us? That's stupid. Lay to rest, going north for a vacay. They're desperate for your time and attention and want to make something up to you. So this person that's getting laid to rest, somebody else around them, whoever this person is, somebody else around them, they just want to, uh, they're desperate for your attention. And uh, and you got psychic powers, you're pushing for more, more answers with this person who has a personality that is strange, like yours maybe, and they feel love for you. You all have to heal an issue that needs resolved. So you gotta come together with whoever that person is that might be strange like you, that's the way it's looking. And you're mowing a lawn with these people that took you for granted and the answer is already within your heart. And there's a tarot reader going down for stealing one reader's whole true story. Oh, did you hear that? So whoever this reader is that loves to steal everything he's saying, she's going to be going down. That's good. And uh, children is in your destiny. Uh, move in with me, Divine Feminine. Uh, he, they're saying, this Divine Mask is saying, I can prove to you that I take care of all my daily business, my work, home bills, etc. Hey, they're going to take care of you. Did you hear that? I love it. Hit like. Hit like now. And he's a smooth operator that tried to take you out. They feeling like something needs to be balanced with me, with you. Uh, this person was just trying to make you hurt on purpose, whoever this other person was that tried to take you out. And whoever's going to be laid to rest, they're going north for a vacay. They're desperate for your time and attention and want to make something up to you because they're, they're just yearning for your love. That's, that's all it is. They're just yearning for your love. That's all it is. But that people, that person tried to kill you, so I don't know about that. Um, you you need to make it a safe space so they'll speak a truth to you that's that's been needed for a while. It's feeling strange, and you're wanting more answers from this person, but and, and you know they feel love for you, but they have to heal an issue and. You're going to have to make it safe for this, make a safe space so they'll actually tell the truth with you. And always, you're, you're mowing the lawn with all these people that took you for granted. And the answer's already in your heart about this tarot reader. She's going down for stealing your your whole true story. And you're all telling this person, hey, stop projecting your all's fears onto our uh, situation and relationship. And children's in your destiny, your star baby, move in with me. <laughs> Divine Feminine, I can prove that I take care of everything. They can't wait to to get you. Uh, hang on, that didn't go with that. Hang on, what, what else for that? Let's do it. What else about Divine Feminine moving with me? They're, uh, they're dealing with a shallow individual that's very immature. A secret is coming up so you can move forward. So remember it said that princess earlier of wands. Maybe this Divine Masculine is screwing a little young princess around. That's what it is. Somebody real young in their 20s. And this Divine Masculine is probably in her 40s or 50s. You know how that goes, don't you women? 
you know, it's smooth operator try to take you out. They need something balanced with you, but they're just trying to make you hurt on purpose. Because you're going to be shocked when you find out what this motherfucker did. But I, it done told you. What they did was try to kill you. It just told. So you don't have to worry about the answer. 1515, I'm telling you the answer. And right there, it's true what I just said. And uh, somebody's being laid to rest, going north for a vacay. They're desperate for your time and attention. They got to make something up to you because they're yearning for your real love. And somebody's saying, where'd all the extra money go to? Ooh, somebody used some extra money or something. I don't know. But that's what it said now. So, you're a star, baby. They took you for granted. All because your personality is strange, maybe. The answer's already inside you. So, I mean, you keep pushing for more answers, but it's already in your heart. You got psychic powers. They're wanting you to move in with them, divine feminine. They want to have a child with you. Um, you're mowing the lawn with these other tarot readers. That this one in particular that stole your whole story. You're telling that person, stop projecting your all's fears and stealing shit from me. They're trying to make you hurt on purpose. Because this person is yearning for real true love like you have. And... And they feel love for you, but you got to heal this issue. It needs resolved. you got to make a safe space so they can do it. They want to prove to you that they can take care of you. They just want to... They need to be balance something with you because they're, they're wanting to let you know that they was dealing with a shallow individual and they was very immature. And you're going to be shocked when you find out where all this extra money went to. He's a smooth operator. He tried to take you out. He's going to be laid to rest. And you're going to be going north for a vacay and leaving it all behind. And uh, this person just wanted to make something up to you. But they're acting churlish. They're acting churlish. That means childish. 17, 17. <laughs> Whoever that person is, they're just acting churlish. Hang on, I gotta fix these cards because they're all not the same. Alright. Rokity dokity. So I hope this message helps somebody out here today, you guys. Oh, somebody's interested in you and somebody else. I don't really know. You know what I mean? I don't I don't really know. Alright, what else, Spirit? This is the last thing I'm doing. I'm gonna cook breakfast. You need to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Somebody out here needs to do that. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ooh. Somebody says you're more attractive since you retreated and disconnected from the world. And they're calling in your they're they're calling you into them. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Ooh. So they're visualizing you coming to them, baby. They you're their soulmate. They love you so big. They want to do something with you. I know they do. That might be all. Oh, they want they want to be engaged. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They want to be engaged with you. And um, they want to play with you. They want to be playful and y'all go out and swing outside. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to a uh, fun to shine. They love you because that, that's what you do. You show people just to be a little fun and romantic. They love you that you do that. That's what it is. We have one of these. Ooh, and then we got... I don't think them goes with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at like that. So, uh, you need to love yourself first. And, you know, think of this soulmate a lot of day, and they're going to come to you. They want to be engaged with you and play with you. They love you so big, collective, and I love you guys, and I hope that helps somebody out here today. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I love you guys, and let's see what this one says. Last one. 
Oh, gosh, Twin Flame. Ain't that amazing? I love that. Your Twin Flame loves you. You're all made for each other. Oh, gosh. And then we got Hare Krishna. Krishna, you find the blessings in your current situation. You and your Twin Flame, and you might be with your twin like I am. Y'all finding the blessings in all these situations you had to go through. And Spirit loves you, and they're thankful of you all. And I'm thankful of you all, and I love you. And I'm going to get off here. Peace is to you guys. Peace.